So today we're going to be talking about the Garmin GTX 327. It's a radio rack mounted transponder that's going to take gray code, do radio altitude reporting, and also have timer functions on it. You're going to see it's a normal transponder that's going to fit inside your radio rack, but it's not going to be a direct replacement for a, say, KT76A or your older KT74s. You're going to have to do some wiring to get it to fit into your panel. It's got your normal 6.3 width on it, and it's about 1.3 high. So you'll have to take that into consideration when wanting to put it into your panel to make sure that you have the space for it. So the main difference that you're going to notice between your Garmin GTX 327 and your older transponders is pretty nice functions and features. You're going to have your digital display here where you're going to be able to see your pressure altitude being reported to you. There's no more mystery of knowing if your transponder is reporting any information because it's going to show you the status of it right there, along with showing you whether it's going to be in altitude mode, just on mode, or standby. You also have the capability of turning it off and it has a dimmer function so that it's going to brighten up or dim depending on the ambient light that's going on outside. So there's not going to be any power considerations in an aircraft with this transponder because it's going to be capable of 14 or 28 volt system. No more tying in crazy capacitors or resistors to get your transponder to work with your aircraft. Again, it's going to work with either 14 volt or 28 volt. The other consideration to have is you're going to have your single coax coming out to a transponder antenna that's going to be tied to your aircraft. Most likely you're going to have it if you're going to upgrade to this. Now with anything that's STC, you do want to go through and make sure that your aircraft is on the AML. So one of the hot topics right now is ADS-B, in, out, what my solution should be. Truth of the matter is, any box that you install into your aircraft, UAT, is going to need pressure altitude and it's going to be getting that through RS-232 information. Now most encoders in an aircraft are only going to be gray code. So the GTX 327 is going to be an incredible upgrade because it has that RS-232 function. Not only that, but it can be set up as a remote control for any UAT that you're going to install in your aircraft. Now what that means is single point of entry. You're going to use the digital keypad on front of the GTX 327 any squat code that you input is automatically going to go to your ADS-B so that your squat codes are matching. So right here we're going to see the display screen on the GTX 327. You're going to see your status of your GTX, the squat code, and your pressure altitude. Use your 10 digit keys to change your squat code. It's as simple as 3, 2, 0, 0. Your squat code is going to change. Use your VFR key to change back to 1200. Now you can use the IDENT key to do your special position identification pulse for 18 seconds. Your keys here are going to turn you on, altimeter mode, standby mode, or hold off and you'll turn the system off. Now if you come over here to your function key, you're going to change through to your flight time, your count up, your count down, and back to your pressure altitude. As you can see, when I cover the photo cell, we're going to change to a dimmer function for when you're flying at night. When in the flight time, use your clear button to change back to zero, your start and stop function, and again, clear. You can do the same for your count up and your count down. 